I was on a routine call to go disarm an IED that was found by the Afghan National Army. And so we got on scene, conducted all our safety checks. Uh, long story short, we sent the robot down. Robot went down. It was no longer operational. So I went down, retrieved the robot, and then I had to go manually and, and dig in the, into the road to try to ID the explosive charge of the IED. And it was booby trapped and it detonated and I was on top of it. The blast had shredded my right hand. I woke up in a Bagram Air Base, in still, which is still in Afghanistan, and that's when I found out they had taken my hand. When I was getting fitted for my very first prosthetic, my prosthetist had said something about, there may be this new technology coming out, you're probably in line for what this is gonna be suited for, so we may be in touch with you. And then I, I forgot about it, and then I think eight or nine months later, they called me in and said, hey, we have this new technology. We want you to meet the doctor that's going to head up this research program and, and go from there. So this is the basic setup. This is the prosthetic. Actually, this is a prosthetic. This is called a terminal vice, which is the hand. We have the PCI here, which is the brains of the operation. So with this technology, there's a, a copper coil in here. And then when the prosthetic's over my residual limb, that copper coil creates an electromagnetic field. And when my muscles fire, the sensors pick that up and send a signal to the electromagnetic field, which then sends the information to the PCI, which then makes the hand work. I can move the thumb on my own. I can rotate, open and close, and I can do it all at once. Wow. Contracting the same muscles as in, as in your forearm, the same muscles are contracting in my forearm, and it's operating the hand. Everything's easier, which is, to me, faster. I, I don't have to worry about doing one thing at a time and then switching to a knife or a fork when I'm cooking or having to worry about grabbing something and making sure I have a hold of it. I didn't think this technology would come out in my lifetime, that's for sure. I always thought, I mean, the joke is I got a Luke Skywalker hand, but I don't think we're anywhere near that, but we're one step closer now with this, definitely.